Hi everybody. So today I am discussing T and B cell roles within our bodies and immune systems and then what happens when they are deficient. So lymphocytes undergo a maturation process and B cells, which are also known as B lymphocytes, develop and mature in the red bone marrow of adults. And then T cells, which are also known as T lymphocytes, also develop in the bone marrow, but they don't travel to the thymus to mature. And B cells carry out antibody immune responses, but the T cells help regulate and complete this res these responses. Um, and T cells are also involved in cell-mediated immune responses, which act against intracellular pathogens replicating within a cell. So because of their importance in these different roles, individuals who are deficient in T cells will likely be susceptible to infection by viruses because without the T cells, the body isn't able to kill intracellular microbes by phagocytic cells with interferon. Um, and DeGeorge syndrome is a disease associated with T cell deficiency. And this disease results because the thymus failed to develop and there are thus no T cells, and the consequences of T cell deficiencies can be supported by the symptoms of this disease, um, as individuals with DeGeorge syndrome often remain their resistance to bacteria, but they often sadly die of viral infections. And a common treatment for this disease is a thymic stem cell transplant. Um, because this can then help the T cells to regenerate. Um, and on the other hand, B cells activate when they detect foreign antigens on the outside of cells, and um, then they can differentiate into plasma cells that produce antibodies. And so when antibodies fall to undetectable levels, an individual will be susceptible to bacterial infections. So Bruton type agammagobulinema is an example of a B cell deficiency um, disease. This disease is inherited and it prevents um, affected individuals from making immunoglobulins. So these individuals will be resistant to viruses, but they often suffer from recurrent bacterial infections that they can't um, kick. So as you can see, cell-mediated and antibody immune responses are both susceptible to malfunctions. Autoimmune disorders, hypersensitivities, or immunodeficiencies, deficiency diseases result when regulations are either insufficient or overexcited. And if any of these defects are present near birth, it is likely to result um, a result of genetic or developmental um, defects, and the, these are known as primary defects. Um, and for a healthy lifestyle, it's really important for these responses to work properly. So thanks everybody, have a good week.